Hey, what is up everybody? Chris me here back with another Clash Royale video. So in this video, I want to share with you some replays of some incredible battles that I had with some of the Clash Royale players. Now, why incredible, you ask me? Because I've been playing Clash Royale for a while now and things like this has never happened to me before. Like, I thought I actually lost the game, but it turned out at the very last moment I didn't. I didn't lose the game, but I rather won the game. Not even draw, won the game. So let me show you some replay. So I'm going to start off with Sir Kickbutt's replay. So he drops his goblin hut right behind his left tower. And I'm going to drop my giant a little late, but it gets the job done. Then I'm going to assist it with a dragon. Now he drops his barbarians towards my left tower for some reason. Maybe he's trying to create some sort of pressure. I'm going to attract them, I mean lure them away. And I also drop a bomber for no reason. Because as you, as you might have seen that those two barbarians were going in the opposite direction. So one tower per barbarian uh, was supposed to be enough. But then again, didn't cause too much harm to me. And he's also got that knight coming up. And fortunately, I'm able to counter that in time. Otherwise, that could have done more damage than I wanted. And I'm gonna just going to arrow the goblins down. Now there comes the rocket, totally destroying my right tower, but we are also slowly making our way towards the right tower. Unfortunately, the dragon locks onto the right tower instead of the mini P.E.K.K.A. Because in that case, the dragon would have just got, uh, got taken down. So I'm going to drop my musketeer right here to take care of the mini P.E.K.K.A. As well as that spear goblin. And I'm going to couple it up with a bomber. Now bomber is one of my most favorite cards if you didn't know. Like it, it has been so for a while now. And what does he do? He drops a skeleton army as well as some barbarians on two opposite sides. And I don't have any spears, I mean arrows to counter that. So I draw, mirror my bomber, which seems to have been a pretty good thing to do. And that takes down his right tower. I mean right, yes, right tower for me. But he's also going to take down my left right tower. And at this point, it seems that he's just overwhelming me with barbarians. They're slowly making their way towards my crown tower. And I'm desperately trying to fight them away. And... I drop, at this very moment, I drop my giant towards his crown tower, trying desperately to, to get a win. Really desperate, as you can see. So what he's going to do is drop a um, goblin hut, trying to counter the dragon, uh, counter the giant, and he just pounces away. And fortunately, the bombers got locked onto the crown tower, and look at them go, just throwing dumbbells at, at those at uh, the crown tower and there's our victory right there next one is against for us kings of persia and this is the battle that i was talking about guys the, the most incredible battle i have fought in clash royale or i've seen being fought in any of the clash royale videos that i've seen so far if you have seen a better video just let, let me know in the comments below but i'll be sure to check that out and so I drop my giant there, right there, and he drops, drops his peck, uh, P.E.K.K.A right there. And it's kind of funny to see a P.E.K.K.A getting deployed. Like, he's going to be like, uh, wait a minute, wait a minute, okay, I'm ready. Um, so he's, uh, he drops his uh, bomber right after the mini P.E.K.K.A to take care of the bomber. And I'm just wasting elixir here, as you can see. I have I've no idea as to what I'm doing. <laughs> I seem to have lost all control of this match right at the beginning of it. And my dragon... My witch and bombers is just enough to take care of the P.E.K.K.A. But the bomber dies from one hit from the witch. And uh, it seems that my left tower is going to get down very soon. So he deploys a bomb towards my right tower. But my left tower doesn't go down. It still has one health remaining. One health. But it's still remaining. The tower, the tower is still there. So I... Uh, drop some archers to take care of the balloon and fortunately my archers didn't die because of that bomb so he drops a wizard to take care of unfinished business towards my left side so I drop a giant because I'm not yet willing to give up that tower yet it's not time for it to die yet so I drop a dragon to take care of that wizard and he's got a bomber coming up towards my right tower to take care of that and he's gonna get just one bomb and I have almost nothing with which I can take care of that charge attack from the knight and I just drop a bomb I mean bomber to take care of the knight and I do whatever I can to you know lure away those uh, the knight away from my crown tower or whatever I can do now he's got a musketeer coming up towards my tower 
So I dropped a witch. He's also gonna drop a witch, and it was at this time that I knew, or rather, I thought that I lost the game. So I gave him a well played. Because I thought, what is there? What's remaining? Like, he's got a witch, he's got a balloon, he's got everything to take care of this tower. He's also got a bomb. So, what I do is I drop a dragon, I also mirror a dragon to, to do whatever I can to save this tower from dying. So, but as you can see, the right tower also goes down simultaneously, and I've got almost just 83 health remaining on my main tower and right now i just do whatever i can drop anything i have towards that side of the arena just spamming that side of the arena with whatever i've got and there comes my crown so i give him a good game because it is a good game not good game probably the best i've played in clash royale so far so right now i'm gonna be doing a live attack so this is the deck that i was using a bomber a giant a witch archers arrows a musketeer a mirror and a dragon so i'm gonna use this deck to see if i have some luck right now as i had a couple of uh matches ago so let's find a match hmm unfortunately i don't know how to pronounce that so how do i start this how about dropping a witch right at the beginning of it Alright, so I dropped my witch on the wrong side of the stuff. I'm just gonna arrow these things down. Alrighty. I also need to lure away this thing away from them. Alright. That's taken care of. I need to drop some bombers. Alright, that should take care of the barbarians. But none of us, okay, he has done, he has dealt some damage to my uh, left tower. So I'm going to do, deal some damage to his right tower. So I'm going to deploy one dragon and I'm going to mirror a dragon. Let's see wh what that makes of this game. Okay, most of my... So is he, is he gonna drop some minions or something? I think not. I'm gonna drop a musketeer. Probably he's gonna drop his... Okay, he still doesn't drop his minion. Alrighty, so he's got a bomber. That is devastating. But I'm not gonna take care of that bomber anyway. I'm just gonna drop a giant. Okay, I'm just gonna arrow this down. Come on, here we go. That should have some impact on that tower. Yeah, so he's at 915 health. Let's see what he does next. I'm gonna drop a dragon maybe. What you got? Okay, I'm gonna drop a dragon and I'm gonna drop a wizard. I'm gonna do whatever it takes to you know push this as as much away as possible oh he's got a lot of stuff coming up okay this gets taken down pretty easily all right so I'm gonna drop my giant just when he's here here we go oh shit okay it's under control so I'm gonna take him lure them over towards this place oh shit I miss my arrows I miss my arrows. Okay, I don't need the arrows. There we go. First tower. So we gotta survive five more seconds, I think. Three more seconds. Two more seconds. Match over, baby. That was a good one. So I'll be ending this video right here. Thank you for watching. Thank you for this golden chest. So I'll meet you guys in the next video. And if you like this, show some love. Hit the like button. I'll catch you guys in the next one.